today we're going to try out the Sony 12 to 24, I think, and uh, see how that lens works on a full frame camera. First, I need to go to a parental meeting. So this is the new lens. Yes. 12 to 24 G F4. Yes. F4. And why such a special wide angle lens? For fun. Basically. Just for fun? Just for fun. Because I believe I'm so creative <laughs> that I'm gonna get amazing shots. Back over here, we have a big waterfall that's called Huldefossen. And it's a very popular waterfall where a lot of people are taking a lot of photos, wedding photos, stuff like that. So now we're going to walk over there and see if we can capture something with his new lens. So let's see what we can do. Did it turn out good? Nope. No? <laughs> well, he's gonna send me the photos so you can see how it turned out. Yes. This is actually a school where they teach, I don't know. Farming. Farming? And horsing. Farming and horsing. When you turn, how much? 16? Yeah. Yeah. Turn 16 and you elevate from the regular standard school from age 6 to 16, then you can apply to go to this farming school. I hear college. Is it college? Probably. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe it's college. It is a nice view over here. We have a big lake and this waterfall is running down to a river and then the river is going down to this lake over here. He's trying to shoot everything in 12 millimeters because he already has... No, you don't have a 24. No, no I don't. You could have gotten like a 14 to 24 in f2.8. So I went for the f4 just for the two extra millimeters. I personally don't see the need for a 12 to 24 f4, but I'm glad he bought it. So now I can borrow it from him. I can try it out for myself. I learned from YouTube that we need to find an uh, interesting foreground. That would be me. I don't wanna break your little bubble, but you gotta wake up to reality. Cause I can see in your eyes, your head is full of dreams. Tears are a proof of failure. You just gotta let So this is kind of the spot where people are taking wedding photos, kind of over here with the waterfall in the background. And it usually turns out really nice. It's a nice backdrop for a photo. It is kind of windy near the waterfall and it's kind of cold also. What do we do to get a perfect photo, right? You 
not allowed. Always remember to bring your lens cloth. Is that the name for it? Because I've never done that. I usually only do that because I never bring a lens cloth. But it's worked out fine, but I guess the professionals would say do not use your t-shirt to wipe off your lens. He didn't get the shot that he wanted over there. So now let's try the bridge once again and see if we can get something with a 12 millimeter here. And apparently I'm the model again. I wonder how it turned out. I'm not sure, but I don't have balance whatsoever. This is the Tamron 17-28. Now let's try the 12-24 to to see how much difference there is between 17 millimeters and 12 millimeters. Now this is the 12 millimeters, so it is a bit wider, maybe a bit too wide because the yeah. You get stretched in the sides. I think it's a bit too wide for me. Let's try a 24. Now this is a 24 millimeter. The YouTube uh, Prime Lens is a 24 millimeter f1.4. So of course you would have a much more blurry background with that lens. But I think with a wide lens like a 12 to 24, Having an F4, it's not a big deal actually because one of the main reasons for getting a wide angle lens is probably getting wider landscape photos and then you want everything in focus anyway. So having an F4 is probably the way to go. I think the 1.4 is for more special interested people. Yeah. yeah. So how do you like the lens so far? Uh, it's my first day, so uh, I don't know. It's gonna be fun, I think. Yeah, I need to learn. Try it out a bit more. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, let's go back to the 17. And now we're back to the 17 Tamron lens, f2.8. So probably the background is a little bit more blurry now. Actually, it was set as f4 when I recorded that. So this is the f2.8 with this lens. And now the background is probably a little bit more blurry. Anyway, I think the 12 to 24, it's a too wide of a lens for me. I find that this lens, the Tamron 17 to 28, is wide enough. Now it's at 17 millimeters, and I'm just hand holding the camera with the PG White Sack Mantis pod. And it's wide enough for these kind of shots because you can get a good view of the background while I'm still in the frame. And I think this is a more appropriate lens for. YouTubing and vlogging like this. Do you agree? Yeah. That's the end of this video. It's about 9 p.m. Time to go back home and uh, get the kids to bed. So, say bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.